Hi, my name is Miguel from AvoidErrors.net. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create a VPN using Windows Small Business Server 2003. So, let's begin. Go ahead and click on Start, and then go to Server Management. Now, click on the To Do List, and here you'll see option number two connect I'm sorry uh, option number three is configure remote access to the right click on start and then the welcome click on next now here make sure you have uh, selected VPN access and click next here you, I'm using my IP address but you can use your uh, local name or the internet name In my case I'm gonna use I'm gonna select the IP address of the server and click next. And under completing the remote access, click finish. Now it's installed and activated. Now in this following window is gonna uh walk you through the uh password configuration just select the password as you like and then click OK uh, the length durability etc and now we're going to see if our remote access is working fine so click on start and then go to administrative tools and click on routing and remote access now here you see my uh, server exclusive is has a green arrow that means it's up and running this is the default configuration obviously you can change it to whatever you like now I'm gonna go ahead and test it I'm so I'm gonna go ahead and click on start control panel in the control panel go to network and sharing center and here click on set up a new connection or network the following window click on connect to a workplace set up a DAO up or VPN and click next now here click on use internet connection VPN and click next now internet address I'm gonna type the IP address that you saw earlier 192.168.1.135 and the destination name I'm gonna change it to avoid errors this is optional and click next now here compared to the Windows XP VPN you have to type your username. I have created a username and password. So when you have that username, make sure you type like an email. The username at the server dot local or dot com. The server name is exclusive CG and it's a dot local. If it's a dot com obviously put a .com and the password for that user and click connect and here it shows that I'm connected perfect my, v my default VPN is working fine here you go avoid errors public network click on avoid errors and it's working perfectly now I'm gonna go to the server in the remote access and look at my remote access uh, clients expand here and you can see the user is connected 28 seconds ago so 
Thank you for watching this video. My name is Miguel. Feel free to email me if you have any questions. Thank you.